Good morning, everybody. I would like to thank uh, the Scientific and Organizing Committee for hosting this wonderful conference. It's truly it's my honor to be here today. I, I also I would thank Dr. Fawaz al Dr. Abdullah Shab, Dr. Musa al Akbar. This is fantastic, beautiful, annually conference. My topic today about Korean Arctic Tasia. I am going to, to talk about or present the ongoing MECARE trial. This is the first multi-center prospective cohort trial conducted in the Middle East. Coronary artery ectasia diffuse dilatation of at least 1.5 times of the adjacent normal segment and considered to be long or diffuse if it is more than one third of the vessel. The incidence range from 0.1 to 4.9. Lift main coronary artery is a rare and occurs in only 0.1% of the population. RCA is the most common site of the coronary artery ectasia. The, the, the risk of coronary artery ectasia, there's a serious complications, including ruptures, thrombosis, embolism. Classification of coronary ectasia classified into four types. First, diffuse ectasia of two or three vessels. Type two, diffuse ectasia in one vessel and localized disease in another vessel. As you see here in RCA and localized in proximal LAD. Uh, type three, diffuse ectasia in one vessel only. Type 4, localized or segmental involvement. We say segmental involvement or localized if it is less than one-third of the length of the vessel. Risk factors, males more than female, males three times more than female. Hypertension recognized as significant risk factors for, uh, for coronary artery ectasia. Smoking appears to be more common in coronary artery ectasia than coronary artery disease. Cocaine use was also found to be an independent predictor of coronary artery ectasia, irrespective of smoking. Diabetes has a lower incidence of coronary artery ectasia, which may be due to the down-regulation of MMP, with a negative remodeling in response to atherosclerosis. Etiology, atherosclerosis account for 50% of cases, Kawasaki disease and congenital causes account 17% of cases, mycotic and infectious septic emboli account 11% of the cases. Connective tissue disease and Marfan syndrome account less than 10%, arthritis, polyarthritis, Takayasu, Bahjat, SLE account less than 10% of the cases. This is a 40-year-old man who presented with chest pain, troponin negative, heavy smoker. And most of the cases, doesn't work in movie. Yeah. If you look at the LED ectatic vessels with a sluggish flow, what to do? How to manage? Aspirin, dual antiplate therapy, dual antiplate therapy with and warfarin, Dual antiplate therapy, NOAC, aspirin with NOAC. What do you think? There is no consensus in the literature of the managing of coronary, uh, coronary artery ectasia. No guidelines. So most of the cases, there is case report, series case, uh, retrospective studies. But if you have a case like this, and there is no thrombosis, no clot, recommended at least aspirin for those patients. This is very interesting. This is, uh, I published, uh, I have published uh, this in uh, IC3 journal, but uh, they accepted. 
published yesterday. حظ حلو هذا مع الكونفرنس. ف this is we have two cases. This is a 36 year old male patient. He present with chest pain, cholesterol very high. He is very heavy smoker. ECG normal, troponin positive. And what do you think? There is total occlusion of the circumflex. I decided at that time to give the patients dual antiplatelet therapy with apixaban. And this is the results after one year. Completely restored the flow. This is the second case. This is a 53-year-old male patient who presented with chest pain, troponin positive. This is not a celebration in my. If you see, there is a big clot located on the diagonal LAD lesion. We decided to to treat this patient with with aspirin, Plavix, clopidogrel, and apixaban five milligram twice daily. And after two months, we did cath for him. Completely dissolved. Completely dissolved the clot. This is the cases: a 65-year-old male patient who presented with chest pain, diabetic, hypertensive, non-ST elevations MI. This is uh, type one, uh, type one coronectasia. If you look at the circumflex LAD, and there is a clot in the LAD, what to do? We try to treat these patients with the glycoprotein 2B3A, with heparin, uh, as well as uh, clopidogrel for two days. Recat them. Still, there is clot pain, and uh, we have team approach. And we decided uh, to go for, for surgery. This is a surgical case. This is a 35-year-old male patient with atypical chest pain, neither diabetic nor hypertensive, just his heavy smoker. You look at the lip, a big, big aneurysm. Aneurysm is part of ectasia. This is a big ectasia or a big aneurysm. What to do? This is a surgical case. Which one of the following is contraindication? What do you think? Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, nitrates, aspirin, ibavirudin. What do you think? Those patients, it's not recommended to give nitrates for those patients. Don't give it. This is a, a retrospective, a retrospective uh, trial, cohort trial, uh, evaluating patients with acute coronary with, uh, with, with acute coronary syndrome, acute MI, plus coronary ectasia versus no ectasia. They found the myth is higher in patients with coronary ectasia and MI. So they have worse prognosis. This is a multi-series. This is case series of 13 patients who were presented with acute coronary syndrome and coronary ectasia. The study has shown not that uh, patients who were taking anticoagulation were at lower risk of acute coronary syndrome recurrence. We are talking here about NOAC, NOAC, mainly. Dr. Mahmoud, you have uh, only 20 seconds left. How? Oh. 20 seconds left. Oh. So if you jump into... Okay, I will jump to the study. Please, Can you give me yeah. two minutes to, to talk about the study? I'm afraid you've got less than one minute. I'll give you one minute. Type next slide. والله لو بعرف الواحد كان قدم الاستدي أولا. Okay. Okay, I will go. This is Middle East Coronary Artery Ectasia Registry involved with us. Jordan, ten centers from Jordan. Palestine, five centers from Palestine. Egypt, we have seven hospital centers from Egypt. Iraq, we have until now two centers, uh, Saudi Arabia, we are waiting for IRB, but King Fahed uh, Armed Force Hospital, they already approved for IRB. Yemen, three centers, Oman, one center, Emirate and Kuwait, we are waiting for IRB. This will be 
the largest cohort prospective trial worldwide. And assume, yani, mostly we will have more than 30,000 patients who are going to cath, and we will see what will happen with them, if there's a coronary ectasia or not. This is, will be prospective, and the aim of this study to know the prevalence, incidence, prognosis, and management. I'm sure we're all looking forward to hear more about this study. Thanks